I want to share with you lab findings about a gentleman who's about 91 years old. He's very weak. We're working together. He's getting better already. I reported in another video about his hemoglobin, about his anemia problem that I said that was not caused by an iron deficiency. This video is going to be very short because I'm going to share with you these findings and then I'll be able to just quickly review about some of these uh, the findings inside my kind of test that I ran. But here's his, and my girl who's behind the camera is going to zoom in for us here, but this is this gentleman's blood count. And what we're going to see here is he's got a low, low red blood cell count. So we can see it says red blood cell, and it says here that he's got a 3.12. It's low, and it should be up to at least a 4.5 is what the lab says for his red blood cell. Did you get that good? You got that? Okay, on the next page, we see here on the next page of his red blood cell test, right up at the top, he's got a low hemoglobin count. Can you see that? And we can see all these numbers. Zoom in okay. Make sure we just get it to see so everybody can see without moving the without moving their camera. So we see that that's a low hemoglobin count, and we can see the numbers there. And that number says 11.0, and they want it to be at least a 14. This is what this lab says. Different labs have different ranges, but we can see that hemoglobin is low. We got that? Everybody can see it clear? I also had this gentleman, if you can zoom back on me, I also had this gentleman, uh, because the hospital he went to never ordered his iron. When they saw a red, low red blood cell count, low hemoglobin, the first thing I think is, well, is there an iron deficiency? That's a common thought. It was not on this blood cell test that they ran. Amazing. So I sent him back to the hospital to get a, and I'm not showing his name here, so let's keep his name private. I found his, I told them to run his, his iron level. So we could see here, you zoomed in on the, on the image, we could see here that his iron, total iron is at 85, which is normal between the 50 and 180. Did we see that? You see that, okay? We saw that his iron binding capacity is low. That means that he's not looking for iron. He doesn't have to search for it. That's normal. We also saw that his ferritin, the iron storage level, is 261, which for him is perfectly normal. 261 is normal. So the, but his red blood cells that I showed you on the last part of his lab are low. How could his, how could it be that he's got a low red blood cell count, that he's got a low hemoglobin count, which means low oxygen in the red blood cell, when there's normal iron? Hmm. Your doctor might look puzzled and go, hmm, just take iron anyway. Let's see if we can get it up there. Well, let's understand something. The oxygen level inside the red blood cell called hemoglobin is what fuels the brain and fuels the bone and fuels the heart and fuels all your muscles. How can the brain and the body work normally when it doesn't have enough oxygen count? How can that be? It can't. And it's not caused by an iron deficiency. I just proved it here. Normal iron. And he's still anemic. My findings in his test, which I did show in another video, he's got inside the hemoglobin, and I have a very unique way of studying a blood cell. Inside his hemoglobin, food additives, mercury. He's got vaccines in there. He's got parasitic flukes, other parasites, mold. He's got fungus antibiotic residues, he's got foreign substance chemicals like pesticides and jet fuel and all different things inside the red blood cell. He's got viruses and he's got Lyme infection inside the blood cell. The blood cell has a protective coating that can be destroyed from certain foods in your diet. We're not going to get too into deep into that in this video, but I wanted to show you this, that with blood cell testing, they couldn't find out why he's anemic. They didn't even look for the iron, which is really beyond, like, I'm surprised at that, but his anemia, his weakness, his, his, his lack of memory and concentration, his weakness is coming from a low red blood cell count, coming from low hemoglobin, low oxygen supply. My findings are showing what's going on with that hemoglobin. I'll report to you when I see him again, which should be in another week or so. We're in the middle of July. When I see him and I can get an improvement rating on him and, and recheck him, I'll report back what the findings are with the hemoglobin and what our next findings are. Thank you.